I am Stephen Power. I'm a photographer and teacher based on Valencia in County Kerry, Ireland. Welcome to my series of teaching videos. This one is about how to develop your own black and white film at home. I've got a lot of expensive digital camera equipment, but I found myself harking back to the days when I used black and white film. So I bought myself a very old, cheap and extremely basic film camera. It has no built-in exposure meter or through the lens focusing and each photograph takes a long time to set up but it's really great to use and reminds me of going back to the days when I was learning photography. There is an initial cost in buying some of the equipment you might need and the chemicals, but the process is fairly straightforward. So my aim here is to talk you through developing your first roll of film. Practice makes perfect so you may need one or two goes. It's reminded me how pleasurable real photography is, setting a basic camera, using a light meter, and then developing the film myself to see the end product. It's definitely worth it and a great deal of fun. So here's the video and let me know if I can help with any problems you might have in the comments below. The first stage of film developing has to be done in complete darkness, otherwise the film will be fogged when it's exposed to light. The film has to be threaded onto a spool, and I often use the Patterson spools, but I've started using Kaiser because they have these wider flanges at the end which make it easier to thread the film. Here I'm adjusting it to fit the 120 size film and then starting to load the film onto the end of the spool and then winding it on with this backwards and forwards motion of both sides of the reel which allows the film to move its way along until it's fully wound on. Once the film is on the reel I put the spindle in the end and then put the whole thing into the developing tank and attach the light tight lid so everything else can be done in daylight. Ask 10 photographers what chemicals they use to develop their films and you'll get 10 different answers. So I won't dwell on that too much other than to say I'm using Ilfotec DDX for this roll of Ilford FP4 film and Ilford Rapid Fixer to fix it. These are concentrated liquid fixers and developers and have to be diluted with water before use. In this case it's one part chemical to nine parts water and I've mixed it up to 600 mils which is enough for the wider spool I'm using. Times for development for the film and the chemical being used can be found online and sometimes come with the film itself. In this case it's 10 minutes. I start the timer once the developer is in the tank. I invert the tank four times at the start of every minute and then give it a sharp wrap to dislodge any air bubbles. When the timer goes off, I pour the developer away and then give the film a quick wash in plain water using the same agitation method as before and then pour it away. The third stage is to add the fixer which stabilizes the images on the film when it's exposed to light. Again the lid is placed on the tank and the film is agitated with the inversion method. Usually the 
time for the fixer will be half the time for the developer. An advantage with the fixer is that it can be saved and used again many times over, often maybe up to 20 times for one batch. The next stage is to give the film a good wash under running water usually to make sure that all the chemicals have been washed out of it. The final stage is to add wetting agent which allows the water to run off the film more easily when it's drying. I use a drop of washing up liquid which works just as well and is much cheaper. It's then just a case of dismantling the spool and removing the film very carefully. And then hanging it up to dry, um, but first giving it a wipe with a squeegee. Some people use their fingers or um, a chamois leather. The film should be hung in a dust-free environment and left for a few hours, if not overnight, to make sure that it's completely dry. I usually hang mine in my small photography studio. And that's all the steps involved in developing your first roll of black and white film. I'll be looking at the next stages in terms of scanning and printing in other videos. I really hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe to my channel if so and also leave me comments below if you'd like to ask any questions.